Jin Terracusa. There's Cooney's first clean touch, and it finds Higgins. So the dogs just starting to settle a bit. There they are. Minson through the middle of the ground. He's not the guy they want kicking the ball, but he made a pretty good deal of that as Nakamanis with some space. We'll see Brad Johnson around the corner. He can keep and going ball. and over the top of the kick if he wants to Hahn in the goal square. Beautiful front, running, flowing play from the Western Bulldogs to goal with their second. Gee, they're slick when they move forward. The most and now some run starting to come into the docker legs. Uh, this is where they get in trouble. That is just they a do. shocking decision and dumb decisions. Uh, going really to make his skill level look pathetic. Well, decision making is the biggest thing in footy these days, isn't it? And the smart ones do really well at it. Look at Akamanis this. kick around the corner, and he's found all sorts of room for Mitch Hahn. And Hahn takes the mark despite the howling breeze they're kicking into well, you 20 metres out. You put your teammates to the blade uh, when. You turn the ball over in the middle of the ground. Between the 250s, this is the area that Fremantle have got to get better at, making the right decision in important times. And uh, this is what is the result effect, because a highly skilled side like this, the Western Bulldogs, will make you pay. Like the way Mitch Hahn plays, an aggressive forward that can do it in the air or on the ground. Tough and uncompromising, adds a dimension to the Dogs' forward line they've been looking for. He's kicked his second goal, and the Dogs get the first of the second. I skilled it. That sort of thing is Josh Hill. Bradley. Minson. Eagleton on his non-preferred side. A centering ball to Hill again. This time he couldn't glove it in the Jukes. Duffield. Through traffic. Hans got him. He had prior opportunity. He's been this good. is a big mistake. He's had a line up for goal. He's had a good game, uh, Paul Duffield, but it's an area of his game. He just needs to improve on quick decisions first decision is the vital important one cut back into traffic and uh, that's it, that's it. with 14 remaining on the clock Hahn comes in pretty reliable from there and that is a goal Mitch Hahn has his third goal for the dogs as we said earlier in the piece I think it's been a fair effort to dominate as they have without one of their key men in Robert Murphy who withdrew just prior to the game today here today and he was replaced by Tom Williams who's acquitted himself well and the dogs would be happy to get him through the game unscathed. I think you can see improvement in Everett. We know that Cooney was underdone. He's done well. Griffin's going to be dangerous up forward. Hahn will line up for his fourth goal and he drills that home and Glenn Jacobich just spoke about the possibility of a round here and it's on. The gates are officially open, Jacka. Well, Matthew Pavlich is coming in the middle of the ground. Getting Pirouette into trouble. And now Duffield has been one of the Dockers' best today. And once again, the Dogs able to peel the ball off them. And they've got some space here. Griffin can nearly go all the way here. Eagleton's found space. Griffin says, OK, I'll give it to him. Wasn't a great kick. It means that Eagleton can't Numbers. have a set trap. And have a look what he's got over the top here. Josh Hill and Hahn can run in and kick his fifth goal. And he does with simple ease. Oh, they've just got to work on that awareness when the turnover. I mean, good play there, Pete. Chain of handballs. Duffield hit the contest real hard, but they lost possession of the ball. The Bulldogs, you can't allow between now and the end of the season, the Dockers, uh, to allow opposition uh, teams to run the ball with these running back the other way. I know this thing's gone out of the game, but still, you've got to fight it right out. 57-point dog lead. Not a bad result by Mitch Arn. Got five early. Very good for the Western Bulldogs. Eagleton launches from 50, and I tell you what, he's put it through on the siren. Rocket. A ripping goal. Eagleton has also kicked three goals. So a great finish for the Western Bulldogs, who in this last quarter dominated all comers. They kicked eight goals to Fremantle's one.